guys. Okay, so today we're going to talk about making ricotta cheese. And I'm going to call ricotta cheese the gateway to all cheeses because it's a super simple cheese that you can make at home with very simple ingredients. You don't need any rennet or cultures or anything like that. But I guarantee that once you start making your own cheese, you're going to want to dive into that farther and you're going to be ended up like me making all kinds of cheeses, making cheddar cheese, which I have to show you this one right here. This is some, um, oh, two and a half pound um, beautiful wheel of cheddar cheese that I have drying out on the counter right now that I will put in food saver bag and put it in the fridge to um, to age for a couple months. So oh, yeah, you're, you're gonna get there. But today we're gonna start simple with ricotta cheese. So there's the first few things that we're gonna need. Um, we're going to need a large stainless steel pot like this one here. Um, you're gonna, and we're gonna use one gallon of milk. So was, this fits perfect for this size of pot for one gallon. If you can easily double this recipe so you need a bigger pot. Um, and then also great is a thermometer. I have uh, this thermometer right here. We use it in our smoker. I use it for all my cheeses because you really do want to keep an eye on your temperature with all cheeses. It's very particular. Some like it um, just about 86 degrees. This one's going to get hot to 185. So I've got that in there right there. You can bend that right on the end so it keeps good track of it. You're going to need a spoon. It doesn't have, it can have slots or not. It doesn't really matter. And you're also going to need some lemon juice. And the lemon juice is an acid. You can also use vinegar or citric acid. I always just use lemon juice and it works out great. Um, and that is your acid that's going to curdle the, the cheese. So that's what you're going to want that as well. Then you're going to also want a colander. I like this fine mesh. It's great for angel hair pasta too. I've got some cheesecloth over here that I'm going to line that then a bowl for this to drain into. So first what we're going to do is I already poured in one gallon of milk into my pot here and I'm currently at 104 degrees. So I'm gonna get this up to about 185 degrees. I'm gonna, once it starts getting hotter, you're gonna definitely wanna keep an eye on it um, so it doesn't burn on the bottom or get that skim layer on top that milk can happen when it starts to get too hot. So you're gonna to wanna to do that, um, make sure you just stir it every once in a while, especially when it starts getting up to 140 degrees or something like that. So let's let's bring our milk up to 185 and we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how it curdles. All right, see you guys in a bit. Okay, we reached 185. So here is the milk. I'm gonna go ahead and take the thermometer out and I'm going to add in my lemon juice. It's half a cup for the one gallon. I'm going to stir that in. This is my acid that'll help it curdle. I'm going to stir it for about 10 seconds you don't, and not nothing crazy. You don't need to whip it. Um, you just need to stir it and make sure to get the um, lemon juice all within there. And you can actually start to see it start to curdle right now, which is what we want. And then you're going to go ahead and stop when I start to see some more curds forming. You don't want to get crazy because you'll whip them apart. So I'm going to leave that there. See, it's hanging out on my spoon right now. So I'm going to leave this here for about five to ten minutes, and then um, we'll see how it's formed into cotta or to ricotta. Here we go. Okay, we are back after giving the acid to the um, to the heated milk. I'm going to use um, this big old spoon right here to help me really scoop it out. Um, I got it with a cheese set. You could also just use any slotted spoon, which would be totally fine. So I've got the cheesecloth with the um, colander over a bowl to drain it. And I'm using stainless steel everything because I don't like putting heated things in the plastic. I'm just really against that. That's why I'm a food prude, right? So here we are. We are going to stir out right now. Okay, we can see those are beautiful curds that are sitting on there. So we're just going to scoop all of those out. We're going to put them in here and we're going to let them drain for 15, 20 minutes. And we are going to, you can add salt at that point if you would like that. Um, just for, for taste preference. I love using this ricotta cheese with um, my homemade lasagna. And I um, have a spaghetti recipe or spaghetti sauce recipe that I use for spaghetti as well as lasagna. So if you just go to foodprude.com, click on recipes, you'll see both of those recipes. So here's the recipe right here. Scroll down to the bottom. You can print off this easy PDF that holds everything that you need. Um, so make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And go ahead and go go to thefoodprude.com and sign up for my other recipes and my newsletters. 
and my blogs and some exclusive stuff that I'll be releasing up, upcoming. So here, I'm still starting I'm getting these. So I usually get about a pound and a half of ricotta cheese um, out of one gallon of milk. So, all right, go enjoy. Go enjoy and get that started on that gateway cheese. Bye.